fist is the next uh, one-step technique on the list for the Kempo Karate for Kids. And this is the first one that shows up in orange, the orange stripe level. Now, the, um, the orange the, and the blue and the brown stripes are the ones we skipped. Um, those are going to uh, focus on the other four uh, techniques that we have for the punch. Again, two with the right hand, step through punch, two with the left hand. The difference will be the first four that you've already seen, you remain between their arms. So if they step in attack with the right punch, as I step in and receive it, I'm still essentially between both arms, right and left side. Uh, with this next set of four, we'll be moving to the outside of their attack. So kind of towards, towards the back side, or what might be considered even a safer, safer zone on this one. So, um, and you'll see that in all four of these. All four of these respond in such a way that you're moving towards the back side rather than remaining in between uh, both, both attackers' arms. Um, <clears throat> and that's the theme that's supposed to be set up for this orange, blue, and brown stripe as it's building these, these first four uh, set of techniques. So as they build up in parts, that uh, orange stripe, shield and fist, is just one step or one count and three things are happening at once. Uh, the first part to this is your shield. And your shield will be this vertical block this time. It's an outward block, but it's a vertical block. And it shields the face as you step forward. I always make reference to Captain America for the kids, holding his shield up, while at the same time stepping and punching, but staying behind that shield. So as the instructor is able to deliver that right step through punch, the kids should receive that punch here on the back of the arm as they're coming in and punching to the ribs at the same time. And it's all one step. Step, block, and punch all together. And that's the shield and that's the fist. Shield and fist all together. Boom. Right there, step one. So, <clears throat> that's what they have to know for the orange stripe. Or that's the understanding of the technique at that level. Uh, as we come to blue stripe again, we introduce that shield and fist again, but we're going to have a follow-up to it. So shield and fist will start here, then they're going to check that arm as they cross punch under the ribs, twisting to that forward bow. That's step two. So blue stripe adds that cross punch, shield and fist. We step, block, and punch, twist, and cross punch. There. Again, blue, step, block, and punch with the shield. Then I check here, cross check high, keeping that hand up. And make sure to point out that they can't drop that arm or their right level, their head is level with an outward elbow strike to the head. So they have to keep that up to shield. Now as we come to uh, the next stage you'll see this at is a brown. And uh, introducing the last part of the technique, what completes it, it'll be a step block and punch followed by a cross punch here to the ribs. And again, I'm checking. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to use the back of my hand here and actually what we call an outward hooking parry. They're going to use the back of the wrist to hook the arm down as they punch high to the face. And that's the last part. So it'll step block and punch low, cross punch low, and then hook and punch high. That's the whole thing for shield and fist. Again, it goes low, low, high. Switching hands each time. And that's the brown stripe version of the technique. So once more, step block punch all together. We check it's a cross punch low to the ribs. I'm outward hooking and coming up high to the head with that last punch. And that is uh, shield and fist. Again, you'll see that at orange stripe, at blue, and in, at the brown stripe level.